In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to special journals. First question, purchase merchandise on account, what journal is used? A, cash disbursements journal, B, sales journal, C, cash receipts journal, D, purchases journal, or E, the general journal. Once again, we will read through these, cross them out with the process of elimination in order to get closer to the correct answer. Purchased merchandise on account, what journal is used? A, the cash disbursements journal. Uh, here, it, we purchased it on account, and that's usually a term meaning we purchased it for accounts um, payable. So meaning uh, we purchased merchandise, so inventory would go up. This would be the journal entry, which might be worth writing down whenever we can, the journal entry. <laughs> so inventory would go up, and we say accounts payable would be the other side. So that's kind of the journal entry we're looking for. So I don't think see any cash there, so it can't be cash disbursements. B, sales journal. A sales journal will typically be used when we make a sale, and in this case we're purchasing something, we'll sell it later. So I don't think it's going to be the sales journal. C says the cash receipts journal. Once again, there's no cash involved here, so uh, we're not getting cash. We're purchasing stuff. So I don't think that's it. And D says the purchases journal. That's going to be when we purchase something, and we did purchase merchandise. So that looks pretty good. I'll keep it for now. E says the general journal. That's going to be like the default journal if we can't find another place for us to put uh, this information into the special journals. So let's read through it one more time. We're left with D and E, Purchases Journal and the General Journal. Purchase merchandise on account, what journal is used? Either D, the Purchase Journal, or E, the General Journal. And we're gonna say here that I do believe that it fits into the Purchases Journal area, meaning inventory is going up with a debit and we will credit uh, the accounts payable. So that's going to be our purchase. So therefore, we don't need the, the general journal. So final answer, purchase merchandise on account. What journal is used? D, purchases journal. Next question, makes payment for merchandise uh, purchased on account. What journal is used? So uh, A, cash disbursements journal. B, sales journal. C, cash receipts journal. D, purchases journal. Or E, general journal. One more time, we'll read through it, see if we can cross some out with the process of elimination to get to that correct answer. Makes payment for merchandise purchased on account, what journal is used? So now we're making a payment. So it sounds if we write this out, it's going to be cash is the payment that we're making uh, with cash and we're making payment on account. So the debit would go to accounts payable. So it might be useful to actually write these journal entries out, even if they don't give us the the, uh, the numbers here, so that we can then look at these journals and say, okay, what well, do these journals make sense? It always helps to me to, to write out the journal entry whenever possible. So A says the cash disbursements journal. We are dispersing cash, so that could be it. We're dispersing it, not buying anything, but uh, to pay off what we owed in the past. B says the sales journal. Uh, I don't think we're making a sale, so that doesn't look like it. C says the cash receipts journal. We're not getting cash, we're paying cash, so I don't think that's going to be it. D says the purchases journal. And we may have purchased something, but we purchased it in the past. Now we're paying off the amount we owe for the purchase in the past that we made. So I don't think it's the purchases journal. And E says the general journal. That's the default journal if we can't fit it anywhere else. So let's read through it one more time and see if it's A or E, cash disbursements journal or general journal. Makes payment for merchandise purchased on account. What journal is used? Either A, cash disbursements journal or E, general journal. And I do think it's going to fit in the cash disbursements journal. We're making a cash payment and therefore, anytime we make the cash payment, the journal used would typically be the cash disbursements journal and therefore would not need the general journal to record this because it would fit in this cash disbursements special journal. One more time, final answer. Makes payment for merchandise purchased on account. What journal is used? A, cash disbursements journal. Next question. Makes sale on account. What journal is used? A, cash disbursements journal, B, sales journal, C, cash receipts journal, D, purchases journal, or E, the general journal. 
Once again, we'll read through it, see if we can cross some out with the process of elimination. Makes sale on account, what journal is used? A, cash disbursements journal. And once again, we could, we could try to <laughs> write the journal entry. So if we make a sale on account, that the journal entry would typically be that uh, we're gonna credit sales, the revenue, and we didn't get cash yet, we got accounts receivable. Now we may also have cost of goods sold if we sold inventory, if that's what we're selling, and inventory going down. So we're looking for a place to put this information. So A says cash disbursements journal. Now we made we the sale on account and we didn't get cash and this is a disbursement. We definitely didn't pay cash. So it doesn't look like A. Say uh, B says the sales journal and we did make a sale. So B looks uh, like it could be a possibility. C says the cash receipts journal. Now we made a sale but we didn't get cash yet. So it's not gonna go in the cash receipts journal. D says the purchases journal. And we didn't purchase anything, we made a sale, so that doesn't look like it. And E says the general journal, the default journal. If we can't fit this anywhere else, let's leave that for now. We're on uh, B, the answer either being B, sales journal, or E, general journal. Once again, we'll read through it. Makes sale on account, what journal is used, either B, sales journal, or E, general journal. And I do think, of course, this would fit into the sales journal. The only thing we really have to be careful of in the sales journal is to make sure that if we made the sale for cash, it would go in the cash receipts journal. If we made the sale on account or got a receivable for it, it would go into the sales journal. So once again, final answer is makes a sale on account. What journal is used? B, sales journal.